Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Editors. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a quick fix for HP printers if it is stopped working suddenly. Especially if your printer is already connected to the Wi-Fi and you cannot print from your Windows computer, then this video is for you. As we already know, the printer is already connected to the Wi-Fi. The blue light for the Wi-Fi on printer is already solid. Now we need to check a few things if there is a problem with the drivers or if it is something else. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to pull up HP smart application on Windows 11 computer and check the printer status. I clearly see the printer is connected. I can see the full bars for the ink cartridges. Now let's jump into the Windows settings and check out the printer status. So press and hold Windows and I button together. Get to Windows settings on Windows 11 or Windows 10. In the left menu, click on Bluetooth and devices. Further on the right side, click on printers and scanners. Now here we see the printer status. So we do have two drivers especially installed for this printer. One says offline, another says driver unavailable. So we do have a problem with the drivers here. All we have to do is click on each one of these drivers one by one and let's remove them first. Click on it and remove it. Now we don't have any more printer driver listed here in this window. Now let's go ahead and try to add the printer again by hitting the add device button. Now either we're gonna see our printer listed over here or we have to do some troubleshooting. Unfortunately, the printer doesn't show up here. So let's close the settings window. From here, go ahead and restart your computer once. Once your computer is done restarting, back online, press and hold Windows I button and get to settings. Click on Bluetooth and devices. Again, click on printers and scanners on the right side. Now we will try to find the printer again. Click on add device. Again, we cannot find the printer. If you're also experiencing the same problem, you cannot see your printer, go ahead and restart your printer once. And when your printer is back online, connected to the internet, the blue light is solid, go ahead and refresh the list and your computer will probably find it. However, proceeding from here, let's open up HP Smart Application once again. Now from here, it's going to be slightly tricky, but not that complex. In the HP Smart application, click on Printer Settings. In the left side, click on Network Information in HP Smart application. And from here, we need to simply detect the printer IP address. I see my printer's IP address. Make a note of this IP address on a sheet and be careful about the dots and everything. Let's get back to the previous window for the printer setup. And in this window, you'll notice a tab, add a new device manually. We click on it. From here, click on the option, add a printer using an IP address or host name. Click on next. From device type, you can put it to auto or TCP IP address. And here, go ahead and type those numbers that you saw in the previous window. Click on next. If your computer couldn't find the printer automatically, then this process will force it through IP address. And there you go. I have my printer listed on the screen. Click on next. And here, if you want to share the printer over the network, you can choose this option or you can click on do not share this printer. I leave the second option, share the printer on this network and then click next. You want to print a test page, you can go ahead and do that. And let me try that in fact. I'm going to click on test page and let's see if it is printing already. I see status printing already and it's printed out. Come back here, click on finish and there we have the printer. Our printer is ready to go. You can go ahead and print whatever you want you're back in the business. Well, that is it. This is how you can simply go ahead and add your printer in your computer manually using IP address in case you cannot find it. Anyways, if you don't know how to install your HP printer with a full set of drivers on computer, we made a dedicated video about it. 
I will drop a link in the description below. You can go ahead and check that video out. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for tech tips, tricks and solutions. You can also go ahead and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching Crazy Editors. Until next time, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.